Hi guys, it's Kiki here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is so hard to film now because I started this and it was light out and now it is only 4.32 p.m. and it is already pitch black here in Chicago. So um, bear with the darkness, but today I wanted to do a video for you on the holiday glam look that I am wearing here. I know we are in full swing of office parties, family parties, friends, what have you. So I wanted to make a look that is still a little bit dramatic and glam, but easy and wearable to follow. So it's only using three eyeshadows plus the shimmer. And if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. All right. So for the eye look today, I am first going in with the Jolie Beauty Luxe Glitz palette. And I'm going to take this nice bright orange shade. And to start, I'm working this bright orange into my transition area with a fluffy blending brush from Morphe. And for some reason to me, Christmas and the fall time in general feel like warm tone colors, like nice browns and oranges and reds. And then for some reason, as soon as it switches to New Year's, I think of like silvers and blacks and it switches to kind of the cool tone for me. I'm going to leave this a little intense at first because it will get blended out with some of the other colors. Next, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and I am going in with this dark cranberry shade called Mulberry. And I'm going in with a Luxie 249. It's a more tapered blending brush, and I am working this in tighter along my crease. To blend those out, I'm just taking the other side of this dual Luxie, is the fluffy part and just kind of working that together to blend it out so there are no harsh lines. Next, I am going into the color Noir. This is a nice matte black and I'm using a tapered blending brush. This is from Visanti. It's the Contour Eyeshadow 4 and it has kind of a curve to it. So I'm using the back end of the curve and just using that to kind of dab in my outer um, V area to just darken up that eyeshadow. And this will just really help create the drama of using the lightest colors on the inner corner out to the darkest at the end really gives that nice smoky effect. And I'm not sure if you can see, but I have some fallout here that I'm going to have to clean up and try not to ruin my face makeup. So normally I would do my eyeshadow first if I'm doing this dark and dramatic look. Um, but I did my base makeup first because I am actually on my way to a holiday party tonight. So I did my base makeup first, but I probably just caused more work for myself because now I'm going to have to clean that up without ruining my eyeshadow. I'm going to attempt to use a paper towel. Nope. That just made it worse. Dang it. And to give this a little bit more drama, I'm going to be doing a cut crease today or like a half cut crease. And I'm going to be using the Mary Duminizer. Um, it's the liquid form of the Mary Luminizer. So you can see it's just a doe foot applicator and is a nice bright metallic gold. Um, and I actually do really like it as a highlighter, but today I'm gonna be using it to cut my crease. And then I'm gonna pack on um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam in this bronze gold right here. And I'm telling you beforehand because I don't know how well I'll be able to talk while I'm doing this. So to do the cut crease, I am using this flat concealer brush and just dabbing it along the edge of the highlighter doe foot applicator. And you can see it's this nice, bright, beautiful gold, but I found that it actually doesn't stay as an eyeshadow throughout the day. Um, it's not like those Stila liquid eyeshadows that stay by themselves. So it does unfortunately fade, which is why I'm going in with the ABH bronze on top of it. So I'm just using a flat natural hairbrush by Morphe and just using a patting motion to pack that on top of the wet highlighter. And you want to use a packing motion, not a rubbing motion because that will, um, reduce the brightness of the shine and won't last as long. For the under eyes, I'm going to do a very similar method to what I did on top. So I'm going back into that Jolie Beauty Luxe Glitz to grab that bright orange and just popping this under my eyes. And then next going back in with the Mulberry Cranberry shade 
And for both of these colors, I'm using kind of a fatter definer brush to just sweep this on under the eyes. And then on a skinnier brush, I am going in with the matte black noir tight up against my lower lash line. And then I'm just taking a clean, soft blending brush and running this along the edge just to blend all those colors together. And because I should not have done my base makeup before I did my dr dramatic eyeshadow, I'm going back in with the Maybelline Age Rewind just under my eyes a little bit to get rid of that shadow that all fell under there. For eyeliner today, I am going in with the Hourglass Voyeur. This is a waterproof felt tip, very pointy end. And today I am going to be wearing eyelashes because I want a little extra drama for my holiday glam. So I'm gonna pop those on and be right back. Okay, I lied. I couldn't find my eyelash glue anywhere, so I had to just put on 400 layers of mascara instead. So to finish up the look, I am putting on some blush. I'm gonna use my Tarte Amazonian Clay blush palette and I'm going to use this kind of mauve color here. And then last for highlighter, I'm gonna go back in with the Mary Duminizer and use this for my highlight today. And what I love about this highlighter is it can go from kind of like a beaming bright highlight, but you can also um, blend it out really well and it turns into kind of a powder consistency. And it's still a nice bright highlight, but it's not as metallic and beaming. It gives it a little bit more of a natural, um, sheen to it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And for lips, you can go either way. I feel like the holidays, especially around Christmas time, is a great time to go for that bold. You can either do like a dark cranberry or a bright cherry red. Um, but since I went a little bit bold on the eyes, I am going to go with a neutral. This is the AOA Studio um, Color Hype. And I did a whole video about all the different liquid lipsticks from Shop Miss A. They're just $1 and they're actually really awesome. They last a long time. So that's what I'm going in with today. And it did come out a little bit too pinky purple. I wanted kind of a warmer tone that's way too cool. So I'm gonna try to mix a little bit of spice on top of it. This is from Tarte's Holiday Lip Paint. So fingers crossed this doesn't go south. All right, I'm gonna go finish my hair and I will be back. All right guys, well that is all I have for you today for this holiday glam look. I hope if you are going out to a party that you have a fabulous time or if you just wanted to see how I got this look and try to recreate it yourself, I hope you enjoyed doing so. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the makeup tutorial or even if you don't, you can still give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. See you in the next video. Bye guys.